adding polynomials. Find the sum. Enter given. 3x plus 2x to the third power minus 5 plus negative 4x plus 3x to the third power minus 8. And at this point, I want you to try to work this out for yourself. You can write it down on a piece of paper. And if you get stuck, here are some steps to help you solve the problem. Now, first off, you want to remove the parentheses. So that's what I'll do. And we'll, re we'll rewrite this as 3x plus 2x to the third power minus 5 minus 4x plus 3x to the third minus 8. And it's the same thing as multiplying by positive 1. Check off the first step, move on to the second step, which is to identify like terms. So let's take a look. Here you have a 3x and you have a negative 4x. We'll circle those as those are like terms. You also have, you also have positive uh, 2x to the third power and a positive 3x to the third power, also like terms, and a negative 5 and a negative 8. So we can check off the next step as we identify those like terms. Let's move on to number three, which is to add like terms. So let's do that. A 3x minus 4x is actually going to give us a negative x. And you're able to add those because of the same variable and power. You also have 2x to the third power plus 3x to the third power, which is going to give you a 5x to the third power. You're able to do that because they have the same variable and power. And keep moving forward. You have a negative 5 and a negative 8, which will give you a negative 13. You're able to do that because they're both constants. And now we can check off step number 3. We've added like terms. Now we want to write this in standard form, which is from highest power to lowest. So what do we have? We have a negative x. We have a 5x to the third power and a negative 13. And in writing that in standard form, 5x to the third power goes first because it's the highest degree, then negative x to the first power and negative 13. So you can check off this step. If you really think about it, this problem didn't take long at all.